Uh, and welcome to Community Services Agency. I know some of you have not been here before. Some of you have been here before and are, and are our volunteers. Today you're doing a very important thing with uh, 211 and with United Way, but that also translates into being a very important thing for us here at CSA, uh, at Community Services Agency. Welcome. We are the primary safety net in this particular community, serving the basic needs, food, shelter, and other important vital services for low-income and homeless people here in our community. And it's our pleasure today to welcome United Way. United Way is very, very important to us, and we consider United Way to be a real priority. We've been a very proud United Way agency for years and years and years. And it's that relationship with United Way that makes me very pleased and proud to not only have them here with, uh, on any grounds, but have them here with the 211 system. 211 is, is important for all of us to be able to connect with the services that we need. And uh, uh, it's, I think, been shown to, to be vital to people who are in this community who can try and connect with us. Uh, because as we know, the economy is, is uh, still floundering. And the people that we serve are the first ones to be affected by a bad economy and the last ones to, uh, to feel any kind of recovery. So the work that we do is vitally important right now. And it's supported not only by United Way, but by the 211 system. So uh, on behalf of all of us here at Community Services Agency, I want to say thank you to all of you who are volunteering today, uh, especially to those CSA volunteers that are coming in and helping to volunteer today to do this important work. But uh, uh, perhaps most importantly, I want to say welcome to Carol Lee and her terrific staff at United Way. We really appreciate having you here at Thank you. Thank you, Tom. So let me echo Tom's thank you to all of you who have uh, packets of, of information that you're going to go put on, on doorknobs. So important. We're here, of course, because it's 2-1-1 day. The state of California has officially proclaimed it, so it's not just a day on the calendar. It is 2-1-1 day, and that's because it is the day on which we, we created 2-1-1, and so many 2-1-1s around the state and around the nation were born on this day in different years. This one, 211 Santa Clara County, was born four years ago. And that means for four years, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, this 211 has been helping connect people to services. Most often, for, for all of those years, most often those services tend to be basic needs, like the sort that Tom just talked about that are provided by agencies like Community Services Agency. Things like housing and utilities tend to frequently top the list. So we're very pleased to have been able to do that for four years and very excited that you're helping us get the word out. A lot going on at 211, 25,000 calls in 2010, and each of those calls could have multiple referrals to multiple services. So that means many, many, many more thousands of problems on the, on the way to solutions because people were connected to the help that they need. So we're excited. We're also excited about the future of 211 because in the state of California, the California 211 organizations are getting together and strengthening the, the work of each of the individual 211s by joining forces on a single database that we can make sure we keep each other going in any time of disaster or crisis. So that's a really important step. And um, we are already uh, in planning for the fifth anniversary of this 211, 211 Santa Clara County, which of course will be February 11th, 2012, and we invite anyone who'd like to be a part of that planning to, to join us, please, to you know to connect with us at uh, at United Way. So while we're here in Mountain View, we want to say a special thanks to Community Services Agency and also to the City of Mountain View and the Town of Los Altos Hills, both of which are among the uh, 10 individual communities in Santa Clara County, as well as the county itself, helping to financially support 211 to make the service available to the many constituents who make use of it. So we are very, very pleased and we very much appreciate your help and I hope you'll all join us in saying happy anniversary to 211 Santa Clara County today. <laughs>